involving Kieran Mackin and Ronan O'Toole. And the first meaningful possession will be for Westmead. Desi Dolan has asked his Westmead charges to embrace this daunting group that also includes last year's beaten All-Ireland finalist Galway and the All-Ireland winners of two years ago, Tyrone. First effort comes from John Heslin. And that's a real settling start from Westmead. Conor O'Neill across to James Morgan, the 2009 All-Ireland minor title winner. Not engaged in any man marking at the moment as he comes forward in tandem with Charlie Oak Burns. It's opened up here for Charlie Oak Burns, gets his hand pass away. Sharp turn from Rory Grugan. And there's a quick repost from Armagh. Rory Grugan tying it up at a point apiece, maintaining his record of scoring in all championship games for Armagh this year as he kicks championship point number eight for the campaign. So many claret shirts around the man in possession out around that 45 meter line but now it's Nugent trying to fend off Jack Smith sharp turn from Campbell also beautifully balanced and always with an eye for a score Stefan Campbell Armagh lead for the first time early ball forward towards Ryan O'Neill is in a real tangle there and Kevin Maguire uh, claiming he's standing his ground. Huge battle ahead for Kevin Maguire. They've gone quickly here. Ian O'Neill is in. Oh, but he's pulled it wide. Uh, couldn't take advantage of some quick thinking after the referee Fergal Kelly had blown his whistle. It was O'Neill who got it away to Stephen Campbell. Got it back again and then went for power rather than placements. Only succeeded in pulling it across the bows of Jason Daly and wide. Here goes Kevin Maguire. And then marking Rian O'Neill. Westmead full back to bring them forward. He'll continue his advance forward as well. Oh, lovely little layoff. Here's a great chance for O'Toole. He's a real finisher and he showed real calmness and composure there. Lovely touch pass, fingertip stuff to get him in. And once he got there, well, you always fancied this was going to end up in the back of the net. No need to force anything here now, Westmead. They've got themselves into a good position. One, two to two points. Lynch advances again. Lachlan gets it onto his left. That one is on its way and straight over the black spot. Rafferty. As they all spit from the middle, but that's an, an errant one. And a wayward one in Westmead. Look to go quickly. Possibilities here inside to O2. You can turn on a sixpence. That's outstanding work from O'Toole, adding to his goal from earlier. Well, it's priceless when you've got that ability to turn so sharply, so quickly. Well, he sold Barry McCambridge back onto his right-hand side and over the bar from Ronan O'Toole. Jason Daly sends it right down the middle this time. The man he wants to avoid there, though, is Ben Creeley. And I'm on the front foot here. Point for the taking for Stefan Campbell. Well, the danger of a goal kick that goes awry. Match day one in this particular group saw Galway with a three-point win against Tyrone. Armagh will be in Oma next. Galway will be on Mullingar. Luke Lachlan backing his pace here against Greg McCabe. Little ball on the inside. Beautiful score that. Popped over by Sam Duncan. Walker takes the mark and now looks for movements. Has it ahead of him in the form of Conor O'Neill. That's the hand pass away. Opportunity here now for Kieran Mackin. Shifts it on to Andrew Mernon. And finally we have our first point of the second half. And it's what our man desperately needed. Start of possession as Westmead held the ball for much of this second period. But a good driving run from Kieran Mackin. Space on the far side. Chance for Greg McCabe to drive on here. McCabe has opened up the angle with his run here. Turbot, angle ever tightening. Good pressure from Sam Duncan. Support arriving, Rian O'Neill from an almost impossible angle. And that's the rousing score I'm now we're looking for. Heslin. Driving on and meeting the ball at pace is David Lynch. To his right, Ronan O'Toole. 
Lynch again. Someone going to pull the trigger here for Westmeath. Heslin has a look and off his left hand side. It's on the way. And over from John Heslin. And a little word in the ear for Aaron McKay. Excellent kick out, beautifully weighted from Jason Daly. Heslin not standing on ceremony. Gets his hand pass away on the inside. Jonathan Lynham passes it on in turn. Lachlan, great response from Westmead. A brilliant team score, that one. And once he got it on his left-hand side, then it was an unerring finish from Luke Lachlan. Lynham eases it across to this near side. Jamie Ganood. And the angle again comes Sam McCartan. O'Toole. McCartan to his right hand side, lets it run cleverly. Here's a shooting chance for David Lynch. This could be a big moment. He's put it over the bar, David Lynch. Big point for Westmead. They re establish a three point advantage. But finished clinically by David Lynch. Here on Mackin. And they find the right man, it's Rian O'Neill. A lot of air on this one. Oh, everyone looking to attack and it's in the back of the net. A goal for our man, it's Conor Turbin. Inside the last three minutes of the 70. It's the big ball in from Rian O'Neill, broken down by Andrew Mernon. And arriving right on cue, Conor Turbin. Didn't start today, but maybe he's got the biggest score of the day, Conor Turbin. Duncan battling with Rian O'Neill, arm out possession. Ross McQuillan. A runner ahead of him. Here's a chance. It's Kieran Mackin. Keeps it moving. Mernon twisting, turning, shooting, and scoring. Andrew Mernon. Duncan Westmead can't afford to foul. Well, that's it. It's all over. It's a crushing defeat for a gallant Westmead. They led this game for so long and almost catapulted the cat right amongst the pigeons in this group but a big showing down the stretch from Armagh that crucial goal from Conor Turbot gets them over the line if only just final score at the relieved athletic